This route right here that Diggs is running doesn't need any adjustments. It just runs right past the cornerback, to be honest with you, which makes absolutely no sense. You're gonna see how this cornerback just doesn't react to it very well, and he lets him run right past them. <laughs> For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a brand new offense for you guys out of a brand new playbook. I don't know why I'm ever overacting like this. I know a lot of people were kind of getting tired of the Ravens. The Ravens are a very specific trick play style offense that I absolutely love. But I know a lot of people, I think, were getting tired of me constantly putting out Ravens stuff. So I'm slowly transitioning over to the Buffalo Bills offense. I put up a poll... Uh, on my channel asking you guys what offense you wanted to see and the Raiders won but I was like I put out so much Raiders stuff over the last two years it just didn't get me excited this offense gets me excited I like the Bills the Bills has a ton of new stuff and I'm pretty sure this is going to be the offense that I that I really start featuring again uh, although I might mix in some Niners I'm, I'm, I'm labbing some Chiefs let me know in the comment section as always I, this isn't set in stone but the last offense I put out was the Bills this offense is the Bills I put out a lot of Bills stuff I really like the Bills so always let me know in the comment section if there's an offense you guys want me to check out or you want me to put more time into because I can make plays out of just about anything and I am labbing a lot of different playbooks. But the offense I'm going to show you guys today is an offense that I actually showed you guys in the past. This trips halfback week. I don't think that this particular uh, formation was called that last year, but I put out some plays from this last year uh, in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense. It's not, I don't think it's in that playbook anymore to be honest with you, but there's some super glitchy plays, some super glitchy pass plays. I'm going to have maybe two plays in this video that home run just about every Every single defense in the game and i'll probably have a lot more on my patreon so if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense i'll have um you know you can Woo! check that on my patreon my join our community tab or let me know in the comment section hit the like button and i'll probably put it out at a later date other than that the two plays i'm going to show you guys are the close x fade if you caught a video that i put out recently where i it was called five glitch routes this particular route was in that. This is a great man beater. I know a lot of people are running man coverage right now for whatever reason, I don't know. Um, but yeah, man coverage is, is pretty large in mutt and this particular route destroys that. A lot of routes on this particular play destroy that. Then you have the, the close Bills cross. Now this particular play too is also a great man beating play, but it also has a lot of success because a lot of different defenses. So this particular play is probably gonna have the most home run effects on zone coverages as well. Uh, these two plays are pretty much gonna be all I'm gonna go over in this video. But like I said, if you wanna see more, the, uh, the choice zig is a very very explosive play you can pretty much tell by you know which one of these routes is going to be the home run route and then also the pa wide receiver ends a very explosive play so hit the like button if you want a full breakdown of these four plays so we're gonna go we're gonna pick the close x fade on the offensive side like i said this is a man beating play for the most part and i see a lot of people running man coverage especially when it comes to plays like cover one hole so let's go ahead and start off with that now as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor aoeh.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and support the channel at the same time you can check them out link in the description below and use discount code money uh which will get you three percent off but ultimately there's a different discount code going on right now where you can use discount code email and get 6% off. So obviously you probably want to do that. That will save you more money than mine. But ultimately checking them out through my link in the description will help me out and it really supports this channel. So thank you guys for that. This route right here that Diggs is running doesn't need any adjustments and it's a really good man beating play. Um, it just runs right past the cornerback to be honest with you which makes absolutely no sense. You just kind of have to wait for him to get uh, even with the cornerback in there. I might have threw it a little bit early. I might have not threw the best pass. But you can see he just runs right around the cornerback and it's pretty much gone. Like I said, I, I, I pretty much just wait until he gets, I don't know what it is. It's something about this route. The cornerback doesn't get hands on him. Stefan Diggs is not that fast. But once he gets a little bit of a lead, you pretty much just have to lob it up you know, you can bullet pass if you want to, but lob it to the outside away from the cornerback, away from the safety. And they can typically just click on and sprint and outrun the cornerback. I'm going to do that a couple times. Like I said, there's nothing really to this. Because, like I said, he's just kind of waiting until he gets uh, a little bit of separation. You can see, I mean, I'm pretty much getting going here. And I don't have a very fast receiver on this team. I know a lot of people in previous videos would say I was using Hollywood Brown. Of course, he's going to beat that. I wanted to purposely use a team that didn't really have super fast receivers. Even though Stefan Diggs is a very good receiver, you can see he's getting going instantly every single time. At the very least, he's getting a big play. I probably want to block my running back. That's probably the only thing. 
But you can see, like I said, there's just nothing. He's just, just out sprinting this guy, and it's because of the way the route's designed. This is a one-play touchdown against pretty much any man coverage as long as there's not a safety over the top. Now, this play has a couple of really good man checkdowns already built into it. The A route and the RB route are very good man routes. I find that the A route's probably best uh, because the slant's where, where the user's going to be. Typically, this, this route to the outside, there won't be any user out there. So this is pretty much the play. Like I said, you can always hit this home run. If you, if you diagnose properly, you're pretty much going to have this home run in the bag pretty much every single time. But ultimately, there's a lot of good man beating routes on this play. I'll also show us against man zero. We'll go with man, uh, we'll go with Overstorm Brave. Pretty much going to be the exact same result. As you can see now, Stefan Diggs is kind of lit up and he just runs right past the guy. And we'll call it a touchdown. But like I said, any man coverage, there's no safety over the top. And that includes man coverages like cover two, where a lot of times they'll, they'll you know, some people like to put their cover two safeties into um, like, uh, you know, curl flats and stuff like that. If they do that, this will be a very easy play. This is where I first found this route was last year when a lot of people did that. They put their outside safeties uh, in the in those type of, of uh, positions and it really you know this is a really explosive play against people like the run defense like that as well I know I said this route has mostly success against man coverage but also has a lot of success in its cover four quarters so let's go and let's pick that one more time on the defensive side we're gonna pick cover four match has the exact same effect you're gonna see how this cornerback just doesn't react to it very well and he lets him run right past them uh, which is you know cover four quarters this is the only zone coverage where it does that but pretty much every man coverage that doesn't have a safety over the top and this zone coverage which essentially is a man coverage or at least it reacts similar to a man coverage which is why it does that as you can see it just runs right past the defender so that's it for that play like i said let's attack some zone coverages the next play is going to be the close bills cross We'll start off with cover two. Now here's another play that needs no adjustments at all, especially when it comes to cover two zone. You're gonna see how this RB route, just as long as I have adequate pass pro, is gonna split those safeties. The safety on the left side really follows the crosser, so it really gives you an easy one play touchdown against cover two zone. Let's go ahead and let's go to the replay. If you watch this play, it's really all about what Beasley's doing. The route that he's running is just a perfect route when it comes to pulling these zones. First thing he does is he slows down uh, the mid read. He has to react to him. Then he basically pulls down the safety as well. As you can see, he pulls that apart. And at that point, you can see there's nothing out here stopping me. I could have bullet and pass led the space. As you can see, the safety's way out of position. Now, I don't really make any adjustments. If you take away the running back, say you want to pass block the running back just to get a little extra protection, I find that that affects the play. You can see how I can still get gone, but it's a much tighter window. So think about that. Now, if you have a speed advantage, it's going to matter also. So while it doesn't look like it, the, the running back's actually what pulls the cornerback down, and that's what the why the safety covers the crosser um, so you can take it away but if you do that you probably need a bigger speed advantage than i have when it comes to this receiver because the safety is not going to drop the same and you can see it's a much tighter window so just keep that in mind now like i said this particular play can home run just about any zone coverage so let's go and let's pick cover three this time Against cover three, you're gonna have to put the A route on a street, put the B route on a slant. That's pretty much the basic, uh, you know, the bare minimum when it comes to this particular play. Gotta buy some time in the pocket. You can see how the RB route's just streaking wide open down the field um, against cover three. He's gonna get across for an easy one play touchdown. This is another play though where you don't have to make any adjustments. If you run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field, you don't have to do anything. The setup that I was showing really works from anywhere on the field, but if you have the hash marks, you can basically just do this. You gotta buy a little bit of time, but you can see even with Tyron Matthew lit up, he still gets inside of it. It ought to be easier if I can buy some time though. That's probably the hardest part about this play is you don't necessarily get the most pass pro. I find like double teaming, um, I'm gonna double team his defensive end so I can try to roll in that direction. But ultimately this is going to be uh, a really easy play just as long as I can actually get a play to throw the ball. As you can see there, once again, we're getting chased, but we're getting passed. So I'm going to end the video there. Like I said, if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense, as always, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys can stay up to date on all the Madden 22 trends. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.